I, I said to him, let me come and see you. He said, no, Peter. I said, I'll come and see you. I want us to sit down and talk. And talk about Nigeria. And I went to his house and I want to read out. He tweeted it and saw some of those who followed tweet who know what's living. So after I visited him, see my phone acting funny now. And he, after I visited him, he tweeted, he said, I spent valuable time with Mr. Peter Obi this morning. I wish to to those who see him as ethnic candidate to get to know him better. I also wish to those who try to sell him tone down their ethnic identity. I hope this nation will see and listen to this candidate. Revolution is coming. Because I sat down to him, I said, listen. I told him, I said, you think this is issue of tribe or issue of religion? No. Can you show me the roads where that is paid for Muslims to drive through so I can pass through it? Can you show me where Muslims buy bread cheap? Can you show me those where there's so much no poverty for Muslims so we can go there and live? I said, the president is from Kastina. I visited Kastina. People were living in fear. Even more fearful than my state. So it is not issue of religion. It is not issue of tribe. That is what we politicians used to continue the confusion called Nigeria. There is no country in the world today, like Father George has said, who has this collection on who would be where we are that will not have the problems we are facing. We have over 100 million people living in poverty. From the World Bank report just released two weeks ago, 7 million will be added to it. So soon you have 110 million living in poverty. There's no 